hello hello it is I again doing another tutorial because I love to teach you guys You're so kind to me so I like to be kind back it's just common sense so <clears throat> and as well as Danny Pie requested so thank you Danny Pie for this lovely suggestion um, so I'll just show you a quick tutorial on how to, how I did you know using the um, tool on mode um, I did it for each character here which is pretty easy um, once you know how, how it works so um, each one is on a different layer um, so what I did um, I'll just quickly show you um, so I just for the um, hair wings and horns and little tail um, I did them separate on a single layer and then merged it down <coughs> so sorry if I cough everywhere I'm still sick and blah <coughs> so um, currently it's on over mode um, and we want to do that because the on mode does not work when there's nothing on the layer it's like mm, it's not working You're like what's going on so you're like, mm. um, so nothing's selected, make sure it's 100% because I'll make that mistake again. Um, so we'll fill it in, fill whatever space you want um, shading on or whatever effect you want to use. And we'll um, just fill it in, whatever tool you want to use, like even brush works. Anything, any tool you use, so just as long as it's solid, should be fine. <coughs> okay, so got the other wing. And there we go. Get in there. Okay, so that's the wings. <coughs> so then we'll um, go to um, on mode, select a darker shade. Maybe we'll go like a burnt orange. And we'll select a brush, random brush, should be fine. Um, and select whatever um, tool we want to use. So I might just stick with that texture. And we'll. Um, and it affects that area that you filled. So it's very handy, so you don't have to race around the um, character or figure or shape you did. So it only fills that area that you filled. Um, so yeah, it's um, pretty easy. Um, fill it in with different colors, textures, <coughs> even other tools, so like even fur. Can um, have green furry wings, but only affects that area you filled. So it's still got the furry texture, but only in that area. Um, you can even do stripes. This is like the best. You can do stripes, and it is like absolutely so easy now. So if you want to do a tiger or anything like that it's perfect um so yeah um that's how I did it it's pretty simple um so just make sure you have solid layers so I'll just quickly um show you up here <coughs> so you have over mode fill in vector bit of a lag there. So there you go. A little it's crashed. Good one. Outrageous. I'm um I'm, I'm appalled. Anyway. So <laughs> cat ears as it 
crashes, it removes some of the things that it did. Annoying. Okay, so you've got a cat figure. Let's, you know, erase some eyes. Little eyes, erase them. Little nose. Oh, poor kitty. Oh, that's really me. Anyway. So erasing everything pretty neat. And then we'll um use the on mode. Um put in some maybe put a cup put some texture over it. Maybe give him a bit of shading. Um use the cool cross hatchy tool. Get a bit of texture. Um, and well, the texture is a bit too much, so we'll um, make it more smoother. Off. So anyway, um, then we'll go to tech, um, give him some stripes, just like a tiger, and it's um, not affected by the tool. So whatever you do in that shape, it's um, because otherwise, if you had over mode, it would just you know draw over it. So um. Yeah, it's really handy and I hope it helps. Um, if you've got any questions, just let me know. So yeah, um, good luck. Thank you.